I need to check the sound. Give me a thumbs. Give me a number one if you can hear me. Uh, better just check it by myself, right? It's so fast. There it is. See? Sounds checked. At least I hear her. I don't hear me yet. But uh, if I don't sound good, let me know. Thank you, Georgia Red Mud. It's 4 a.m. What are you doing up so late? Okay, I got to stay focused on the, the, the goal of this video. I was just listening to uh, Charles Costa's video and... I really like that. No, it's not really local music. Um, I'm not really hiding where I got the music, but I don't feel 100% uh, good about using it. If you watch the video here at my other channel, and please do subscribe to my other channel. Where is that other channel? It's I don't have a good link for it yet, but I need 100 subscribers. The name of the channel is Was This Atlantis. If you search it, you should find it. I can give you a quick look at the... the <clears throat> there it is right there. And there's the name right there. I'll copy that and I'll put that into the, the chat. Red in... Red line loud? Loud? How loud is it? Is it too loud? Should I uh, reduce the sound? I could do that. I keep seeing it go into the red, so maybe I should reduce it a little bit. How do I do that? I've got it right here. There we go. Let me just cut it down a little bit. Let me talk really loud and it only gets up to the yellow. I, I think that really might help right there. I don't want it to be too loud. So now that I'm looking, my levels are stopping right at the red. They're not reaching the red. Maybe that's too low. So Georgia Red, let me know if now I'm not loud enough. Because I think I was kind of blowing out the speakers in some of my other videos. So I really need to get that thing tweaked. Okay, now I do have a point to this video, and the point is is that I was going to look at the Botswana, what do you call it, uh, the name of the video is, oh, you know what I need to do, I need to, there it is, Ancient Canals of the Okavango Delta in Botswana's Northeast uh, region. Now it's too low, okay. All right, let me move that up then. I'll change it back a little bit. I'm effing screaming sometimes, you say? I think that's what you said. Okay, I'm going to move that so it goes right up to about here. Also, I should probably check this this microphone. It's got a gain and it's got a, a couple of other settings. Let me see what it says there. The gain's all the way up. See, I should probably turn that down a little bit. I'm going to put the gain in the middle. I'm not going to mess with anything else. There is a... A volume in the front but that's not for me as far as I know the volume in the front let me just uh, do some experimentation later with that I'd made some adjustments let me know if it sounds good now thanks Georgia whoops now you know what I'm watching in my free time oh my god so shameful oh what a shame I'm gonna what happened here ah oh. Now I should just cut the video, delete it, and start all over again. I mean, come on. That was bad. That was bad. I don't even want to talk about that. You can thank Pootie Pie for that. You can thank Pootie Pie. All right. Now I'm all unadjusted. Okay. Let's go over a couple of other things first real quick before I do the main point. I wanted to do this in the easternmost point of Algeria. You can zoom out. And uh, zoom back in real quick. You've got this 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 escarpment, right? I think it's pretty cool. But when you look at it under the Satellites.pro, you quickly see something weird. There's a road there now. 
that road's pretty looks like it's maybe it's new and it goes over this hill and it comes this way but one weird thing in this picture is it has this accompanying i don't know what that's all about it looks like some kind of a weird like canal but it looks like it's like a mirror image of that i'm not sure what i'm seeing something's weird is that a is that fake you can see some real tire tracks right there but what is that this is satellites.pro and it goes on for what's that it goes on for a while it's just some kind of what is that the same thing wait a minute that's weird okay so wait a minute let's follow that back up so see those tire tracks and then we go up those tire tracks are definitely different but okay that's all right so there's a lot of tire tracks around there I don't know if that's real or not but when you look at it on Google Earth you see nothing there's nothing there and down here I can tell you where it cuts through it cuts through right there it cuts through right there so where is the road where's the road how old is this map we're looking at of the Sahara Desert you know sometimes I think the Sahara Desert's getting greener when we look at pictures like this we see all this it looks like green to me I think we're getting fake info okay I'm done with that I'm gonna close those so I don't show you again it's just something I wanted to document now Botswana we're gonna get to it in a second uh, Charles Koss distracted me in my last video because I was so busy trying to kind of uh, show off and tell him stuff and respond to his comments and one of his comments was talking about um, basically Doggerland being Atlantis in a general way I mean there was something he was referring to as the map which after I'd say the the um, is it Sumberland the city I didn't catch the main point but I still wanted to continue researching this and I learned my lesson I even commented in his video that I have been focused so much on south of the Pillars of Hercules of course Atlantis is everywhere he's got a cool slide at the beginning of the video right here that shows Atlantis and I was saying hey that's everything above the pose of Hercules that could have been Atlantis what it is is sea levels but what about below well I should be looking here too in fact he, he's making some great points in this video I'm gonna look at that later I'm gonna move that out of here so I don't talk about it again in this video now I have three tabs left okay I'm gonna go back to my stream and look at the comments I hope that I'm sounding okay I sound perfect now awesome awesome that's good news all right because it, oops oh I'm so bad I'm so terrible you know I always spill and I just spilled last the other day I spilled all right that seems like it's enough I think I got it let me just make sure oh I was gonna say here's my first alcoholic drink of the day but then I spilled. All right, it's 4 p.m. It's some. It's always 4 o'clock somewhere, right? Let me just uh, finish drying off my mouse. Now, as you can see, these lines are parallel. I mean, when we talk about parallel, this... Okay, where's my... There we go. Let me make sure. Let me... I don't even know why that opened. Thank you so much. Dr. Charles Koss is a, well, probably one of the first people that I found when I started searching for information. In fact, there were two. Brian Forrester was probably the most prominent because he's done a lot of videos and he's very generous with his, his videos. I know he's reposting some of the older ones, but he's a, he should be. And I think that you should subscribe to Brian Forge's channel and get started on some of his best videos. The pyramid videos were the first ones I saw. The eroded stone around the Sphinx mainly. I even didn't have the right guy. If you look at my very first videos I've done on this topic, uh, the guy I put in the thumbnail wasn't Brian Forrester. And I realized it, but I was so busy trying to do stuff that I just um, had left it and... Uh, but Brian Forrester definitely showcased this guy. I forgot his name, so now I'm even more ashamed. But uh, I'll remember. He's a, if I recall, 
either a geologist or he was talking about the geology and saying the Sphinx might be 30,000 years old. And if that's true, that means we know that Africa had a different culture. But I was talking about down south in Lesotho a while ago, and uh, I found a lot of stuff. And I wanted to refer to some mountain structures that were not really parallel, but they were both going in the same direction. And no, they were parallel in many in, the, in many aspects, but um, they weren't truly parallel lines. There's nothing. I mean, look, the longest straight line in the world is. Sorry. Good. Yeah, Dr. Charles Koss. K O S. Tell him I sent you. You can. Um, he knows me now because we were chatting a couple times. You can call me Stig, I guess. But I'm also trying to promote this. Was this Atlantis? In fact, I, I'd please ask again that you subscribe to the Was This Atlantis channel down in my comment section. I think I can still edit that. It's right there at the top. Oh, see, it's not there at the top. Um, I want to get rid of the Ancient Insight channel. Oh, there. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Was this Atlantis? Is there? Yeah, zero sub control, and then I have a playlist. I gotta change that a little bit, but anyways, I'll leave that alone for now. I'll change it later. It's in the other videos. It was. It was a. Uh, the last video I did, it was updated. Anyways, the, so the Was This Atlantis channel, I need 100 subscribers real quick so I can get some features going in YouTube before I start depending on it much. I have a big master plan, and I need 100 subscribers or more for a while to uh, follow that plan. Right now, I'm just doing this on my old channel. So here we are, Botswana. If we go to Google Earth, you can see... Um, Zambia is right north of, we've got Zimbabwe. Okay, so let's start from the bottom. South Africa. And you got the Lesotho and Eswatini landlocked. There's a lot of ancient, ancient stuff going on here. Big, megalithic, ancient stuff. But you see this big river, you're like, how, this delta right here, you're like, how can I not look at that sometimes? And when you zoom into it, you see these parallel lines all of a sudden. Those are mainly in Botswana. In the northwest district, Namibia also has this band of land going just north of it. So some of them are going through this portion of Namib Namibia. It seems like there's a lot of game parks there. So I wouldn't want to be dropped there in the middle of nowhere without the proper defense. I bet I'd get eaten by a lion quick. Above that, part of Angola is connected. There's a lot of stuff I'm going to show you in Angola right now. And north of that, on the other side, is uh, Zambia. So all these areas were affected anciently, and I'm going to show you now the, well, first of all, we do have the nice, beautiful, I mean, it seems like it's going all the way over here, right? It seems like they're all the way over there. So I'm using Satellites Pro to check the detail because Google Earth just doesn't cut the mustard sometimes. What I want to do right now is I want to go to my topographic map and show you these yeah, well, my videos are uh, going to start focusing less on the Rashad. I think I've really looked at that area a lot. And I'll probably, on the new channel, do some 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 videos. First of all, I need to do, start doing a lot more five-minute videos. So what I think I'm going to be doing is breaking down my videos into five-minute topics, possibly doing a one-hour video. See, if I were really organized, the perfect formula is to do a one hour video with 12 five minute topics and then take those topics and break them down into five minute videos and then what that means is is when people watch that and they see the whole thing they're getting a hundred percent watch time on your video which changes your not uh, your algorithm with youtube quite a bit the hour long video would be for the the fans who want to see them all quickly and then or not quickly, but first. And then I would get an hour long. Uh, maybe I should just release them all at the same time, right? But honestly, the easier way to do that would be to do five-minute videos at a time and release them one at a time and then make hour-long collected collections. So that's my life when it comes to this future and the new channel. 
For the new channel, I want to be separate from this. It's separate with e email. It's not the same Gmail family because the Davis St. Hansen family is turning into a joke, and I think it's shadow banned. Oh, there you go. Well, what does it say is the max of you? Is it 720 or is it 1280? Because it really should be full HD. I've got a really good connection here. I know this is a live stream and sometimes YouTube stuff regulates that. I'm using uh, OBS. I can show that to you right now. There's OBS. See, that's why I hate putting it in the screen because it does that. Especially if you maximize it, it really is stupid. I hate that. I wish it would not do that. Maybe uh, somehow control that problem. But it doesn't. Instead, you have to kind of deal with it, which I guess that's cool. It's kind of cool when you have a cool picture there. What what just happened? What's going on here? I don't get it. I didn't do that. Okay, let me maximize this. All right, well, my point is, is that uh, if you don't see full high HD, I should have a setting change of some sort. And I don't know how to do that because I really just want to get this stuff out there. So I'm not going to talk about that anymore. Let's talk about this. Um, so here we are uh, looking at the, uh, and it's got a lot of cool stuff. It shows Chef's Island and Moremi Game Reserve, and there's a line around that. And this is the top of Botswana. And you can see the the river right in there. It's pretty clear. I mean, if we move in, it's going to change color. Well, actually, let's see what happens. I, I don't really know what's going to happen because this is the... you. I don't know what we even call this. Here, hold on. Let me get the name. This is topographicmap.com. Uh, let's call it, to be clear, topographic-map.com. But I'm pretty sure that they have... Uh, Probably both. I don't know. I don't even care. I'm just using this. Uh, by the way, I do have the open street map. I don't have any layers there. So I, the open street map seems to give me some data about the landscape. Here we can see that's kind of swampland, right? I automatically call that swampland. If you get closer and closer, it even gives you more of these little grasses. That's the closest I can get. The closest I can get is 31. Look, I can click on it. 3196 feet. Okay, I need to see our chat. See, I'm using two screens. I want to be able to see the chat. Um, I'm not sure what the OBS is set to. What did I crash? Oh, before? Let me uh, keep on topic here. So as you back out, the actual topographic doesn't catch up. So you see the underlying... Let's change to some topo maps. That's a topo map. This is Cardo. This is Wikimedia. I don't even know what that does. Some of them come from the same, this is, I go with S3 imagery all the time because that gives you the actual satellite. But for now, I'm going to keep open street because I want to not kind of uh, look at the satellite. I don't want to be distracted by it because those pixels can confuse you. I don't know how to maybe even turn off all maps. I don't care because I don't mind the other stuff. Anyways, let me back it out and... Uh, get back into it so here we are with a whole delta in the screen so you can't really see it very clearly the Okavango Delta and we have Chef's Island in the middle Maremi Game Reserve over here and then over here on the left when you move there it's very clear you can see these parallel lines which are actually more clear when you look like if I turned on the well let me just do it then let me just do it there we go See, when I turn that on, the line continues, but there's something, and by the way, I think that's significant because you can literally visually still see those lines, but when you take out away and go back to the topographic map, now let's start looking at colors. Now, without move, zooming in, this little floodplain, now those lines disappear, so it's super flat right there. You can barely see the color. Um, if you're looking at this band of colors, okay, we just click on it. I, I learned this, so I'm going to start doing it. Yeah, three, two, one, two. So that's 3,212 feet above sea level. The green is 33. That's about 100 feet higher right there. Now, these colors are going to keep changing. 
So I don't really want you to remember the colors as much as the sea levels of the area. And as you can see, there's the river. So we're right, I mean, I, we'll start here. We'll start here and we have 3212. I think it's still gonna say 3212, 3216. It definitely varies. And then over here, uh, just for now, I mean, when the color changes, you're still going to be able to be able to see this. What was f what is now light blue will be another color, and this green, what is now green, will be another color, or whatever. Yellow will be another color. So these lines, you'll see two colors. Right now, it's yellow green, but later on, it'll change. I'll you'll always have this reference. So if you see a color you want to check it, and I'm not clicking on it, you can just look there yourself. But I'm going to try to really get this clear because. What I want you to see is that as we go in closer, there's a bit of um, see how it changes. There is definitely a wash away. There's a, a new escarpment, a, a new f shoreline, a floodplain. But let's talk about these stripes since they're so prominent right now. Now here, the highest point is at the top. So if I click on the white, it's going to say 35. Let me get that in there. It's not even letting me see it. Let me move that down. 3488. 3488. And the red is 3436. So it's about 50 feet difference. 88, 36, a little bit less. And then the yellow down there. Let's take a little yellow. The yellow is 3354. So the, the difference between yellow and red is... 20 feet. The difference between yellow and white is about, uh, whoops, let's get this one. Okay, so this is 3485, the white, and then this yellow here. Let's get yellow, not, let's make sure we're getting the yellow, not the the orange. We don't want red, red yellow. This yellow here is 3348. So let's just say 3350 compared to Let's zoom in here a little more. Let's find some more white. It's probably going to be, yeah, exactly. That always happens, right? But if we zoom in, this is going to be the highest one. So did we remember? I forgot already. Let's do that one more time. So 35 is the highest one I found. The yellow is 38. Oh, sorry, 3,500 compared to 3,400. So it's about 100 feet difference. So these ripples are 100 feet difference continuously because, as, as you can see, they get lower. They seem to change. But in my opinion, this is the highest point of these ripples, 3,500. You can continue to see them over here. We can zoom out and zoom back in. But... As you see, they're about 50 to 100 feet difference. Over here, you can still see these ripples. They went on for hundreds of miles. Let's measure how long that is, what I just showed you. Uh, let me just quickly make sure I know what I'm showing you. Right here. Now, you don't really see anything over here. Up here, you might see some up here. I think we're done over here. There's a little bit right there. I think we see some over here. Oh yeah, there they are. Way over here. Look at this. Look at that. So why are they way over there? Right there. Let's just measure the distance there. That's in the middle of Namibia. Let's get the height, 3787 over there, Namibia, right here. You can see it a little higher, right? And then there's another like delta, but like a dry, not a, a wet delta. Now, the big question is what created these lines? Obviously, that's the big question. And most mainstream... Hypotheses are going to focus on natural causes. So the big question is, could these have been created naturally? And if us, um, let's just measure that real quick because that's what I came here for. Let me zoom back out and say that this point from here to here, 
I don't. I'm not saying they naturally cor- connect. They're 562 kilometers long. Now I don't know if you can follow one line all the way. Let's take a quick look and see. Let me clear that out of the way. It seems like these lines disappear here for sure. You got a city. You can kind of see the lines there, but that's really, really. We'll look in Satellites Pro. This is Google Earth, and then they seem to reappear here. I mean, maybe it's because of this river here. I mean, they're pretty much a mile across. Let's just take a few. Let's let's average ten of them. Actually, maybe we should average twenty of them. Let's see, this one looks good. Let's start at the top of the page. One, two, three, f- maybe four, five, six. Maybe seven, maybe not. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty. So here's about twenty, right? Here's twenty. So I'm gonna mark this this part right there. So from here to here is twenty, and let's change that to miles because kilometers is based on the size of the Earth. I'm I do believe kilometers have been around for a lot longer than we know, but I also think that we can probably base everything on feet to get the human element. So instead of kilometers, let's go to first miles, uh, 13.96, 14 miles. But, whoops, I didn't want that. Let's go to, let's go to uh, yards. Yards is 24.5 thousand. Let's go to feet. So here we are at 73. That's actually an interesting number right there. We could round that up to 7,400 feet. 7,400 feet divided by 20. Three hundred and seventy feet each across. Is that right? That doesn't make sense. Did I not do that right? So I don't think that's correct. Oh, I... That's, uh, I okay, 7,400, yeah, 7,400, what did I do wrong? So s- let me stop this, I'm so tired of that. Okay, 74, sorry, not even 7,400, 74,000 divided by 20 equals 3,700 feet. How many feet are in a mile? That's not a mile, there's 5,000 feet in a mile. How many feet are in a mile? Um, so 5280, 5280 is, uh, so these are closer than a mile together each. Now when you get closer down there, I think you get a little closer to a mile each over here by the River Delta. We can do that, ex- we can do that little experiment all day long, but instead of doing that, and um, I'm surprised uh, because basically there's, they are parallel. What's this? Oh. So they are equal, yeah. And uh, I wanted to look more at the the topographical right now because I think that topographic maps are real. I, I did take a couple of shots. I mean, before this, I did take a couple of shots. Um, that was one I did. And this one basically gave you the areas inside each one. This is the Northwest District. That river, I don't know if you, you can see it very well, but the river's there. The delta is there. Northwest District. Kavango East Region is a different country. Kavango West Region. So this is the Kavango River Delta. <clears throat> Up here is Kwando, Kwando Kubango. And now this whole area has... Uh, I'm not sure. I think that's like a... Well, there's a lot I have to learn. So let me just keep reading what we can see. Livingstone is over here in, in Zimbabwe. Livingstone and Matabeleland North... Chobe District. Okay, kind of finished looking at that one. The other screenshot I took was here. You can see the lines going. Well, actually, now I think they are lines, but uh, that was just something pretty, actually. I just grabbed that because I thought it was pretty. Uh, it's it's in that area. This one, you can see the lines pretty clearly. Quadum National Park. And this one, you can see the lines. You know, I can just click this arrow. Why am I doing that? So here's like the whole river delta. This is some other stuff. This was interesting, right? Where did I see that? 
I nailed it, right? This guy found, well, it's a Peruvian elongated skull with metal surgically implanted after returning from battle, estimated to be from 2,000 years ago. One of the more interesting pieces in the collection. It says Museum of Osteology. I'm not really sure where this is supposed to be exactly. Um, however, one more thing. It says they don't have a ton of background on... Here, hold on. I want to close that up. They don't have a ton of background on this piece, but we do know he survived the procedure based on the broken bone surrounding the repair. It is tightly fused together. It was a successful surgery because apparently here you can see the cracks actually had time to heal. Although, I don't know. If somebody dies, they still grow hair. Does that mean that bones might still repair? I don't think they'll repair as much as I can see right there. So I thought that was quite interesting. And by the way, if you're curious about that, I can tell you the group that came from. I'd like to give them a shout out. But I'm just kind of a, don't want to get too distracted. Why does that always happen? I keep moving that down. All right. So these, these things are a little bit less than a mile apart. Got a lot of comments from Georgia Red Mud. The other day, Georgia Red Mud stuck with me through the park when I was going across the bridge to my job. I might do that tomorrow, not tomorrow, uh, Wednesday morning. That was on a Wednesday, right? Love that bridge trip. Kind of wish that I could have like not had the bike up on the bridge. Why is that happening? Oh, okay, anyways, let's get back to this and then we'll finish up the video. I don't want to spend all day here. I want to finish up in the next 10 minutes. It's already 37 minutes, right? We're already on uh, 32 minutes. Today's Monday. Today is Monday, April 12th. It's 4.37 p.m. And I'm loving life right now. I got paid, so I'm not broke anymore. I've, I ate too much. I should probably go get a salad. I'd like to go buy a nice or uh, buy salad makings for a nice salad. Okay, where was I now? Um, Yeah, I have a little nice whiskey. I just drank some of that. see here okay what was i looking at let's get back to work um and here we are to have that whiskey let's see just getting up close you can see that you don't have the lines right here at all it's really flat so this river land i actually there's another line that i saw maybe it's up here seem to have lost it oh, what i wanted to show you let me just maybe zoom out a little bit. Maybe it's farther down here. I guess what I'm looking, what I'm thinking about is right here, basically. But um, the impression I got was that this has flooded so much that any canals that did exist, any canals that did go all the way down to the river's edge, no longer are uh, visible. I mean, you can see them, but they're no longer visually there. Sorry, so I should change that. You can visually see them, so they are visually there in terms of coloration. But when you zoom into these places, you don't really see... Let's zoom in now. I guess I've done enough topographical. Let's get in here so you can look at the real thing. As you can see, you can see the lines continuing all the way. You've got a lot of farming going on here, so there's not much left of those lines. This farming is actually quite interesting. This is, I'm using Satellites Pro, and it's really tough to kind of get a good picture. Sometimes I'll just use Google Earth to look at the same thing, because Google's so, so smooth in its delivery, and it's so easy to kind of, let me get rid of that. Like, for example, here, you don't think that for a second that this whole thing's the river. No, the river's going through it. There's the river right there. Kubango River, the Kubango now, as I have mentioned in my previous video that Charles Cost did visit, rivers change over time. So I had actually thought, oh, this is a this is a man-made. Um, sorry, this is all man-made. But then now I realize that it's it's not. It's it changes over time. So you can see how probably within a hundred years some of this changes. And I think the reason why is because it's pretty flat. Oh, look at this. You know what? I think I just found something interesting. Look at that. Oh, that is interesting. What are we looking at here? 
So I've always said, look at the higher sea level areas. Look at the stuff that's at the top of the mountains above the floodplains. And look at what we're seeing here. That is quite interesting, isn't it? Wow, big discovery right in the middle. I'm going to have to put that into Ancient Insights. So what are we looking at? Those are trees, but we're seeing some weird circles, right? But then we have this piece of bedrock that sticks up through the floodplain. If it's not a bedrock, maybe it's just higher mountain, but you've got what looks like, like, well, let's just say that you don't get rings like that. They must be man-made right there. This is an interesting find. Let me put that right before I go away so I don't forget about it. I've got my um, famous Ancient Insight page. You see, as you can see, the last thing I did was, and I had lost it, it actually ended up in the wrong spot. The This is the, uh, where's my next page? It doesn't, why does it give me a hard time? This mountain that I found, as you can see, kind of uh, exists above any, it's a plain, I wouldn't really call that a flood plain, but it's an older plain, or a younger plain, and uh, this mountain exists above it, and the, uh, Michael Tellinger style gold mines, and they really do look like that. Is I mean, they look like rings of trees. They don't look like mounts, uh, rings of rock walls here, but they're the right shape. They have the right s shapes inside. So what are we looking at here? I thought that was quite interesting, and I do have a link here, but I'm not going there right now. But here we are in Google Earth, and we're finding something very similar, don't we? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to put this here real quick. Of course, we wouldn't have any street view. We're not going to get that lucky. I'm just putting this in here before I forget because I don't want to lose the location. And another thing I'll do before I post that is I'll take a quick screenshot of it and paste it in there. That's how I roll. I use this skip and sketch. It's part of a Windows 10. You can see how it works right there. I usually don't grab the address. I usually just grab the picture. I don't grab that stuff. I just grab the picture. But I do keep the... I do keep the latitude and longitude down on the bottom right because I want to make sure I just copied it. So I can paste it right here. And then it'll be, just in case for some reason the link fails or something else, you can actually go there and get it. All right, let's go back and make sure we've got some comments. What is that? What's fun? Yeah, we, I, this is all fun. Oh, look, reach more with your post. Of course I want to reach more. Thank you, 151 members. Thank you. So now I know I need to take this site and go, okay, blah, blah, blah. I'm talking too much. Let's get back here. Where were we? What was I looking at before? I was looking at that thing. Where was that thing at? I kind of forgot. I was in the middle of the river. I was in the middle of the river. So, probably not that old. I don't know. Who knows? Let's go in the middle of the river and find out. Let's find out where that was exactly. That thing? That's it? Okay. So, if that's it, it's right here. I think that's it right there. About here. Where is it? Oh, there. It's... I think that's it right there. Oh, there it is right there. There's more than just that one, isn't there? So maybe it's agriculture. It looks like, okay, the, now it's, see how much nicer Satellites.pro is? I mean, I don't know what to say about it at this point. Agriculture. Maybe not as ancient as I originally thought. Look at that, though. I don't know what's growing. If there's some fruit in them, them trees, I don't know how those trees are. It looks like we've got a bunch over here too. Okay, well, it's probably a farm, to be honest. Probably not much ancient stuff going on there. See, that's the difference between Google Earth and Satellites.pro. So I'm going to st stick with Satellites.pro now. I'm not going to use anything else. Here we we see, oh, look at that. That's quite interesting because you can see how the agriculture meets the, stri the striations. 
these pieces of land, as you can see, the 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 part that had now this is all flat now, but the part that had the water is very clear. And as you get farther away, the part that had the water is difference in height. But when we get to the river's edge, you can really see that there must have been a lot of nutrients in those those rivers because they've got all this agriculture going on there, trying to catch the last bits of whatever still exists. But they still ignore these areas, maybe because there wasn't as much nutrients. I mean, how would they know? There must be something. There must be some sign. I mean, I'm assuming this is agriculture, these little square-offs. But then you get to the this part, and you've got, like, nobody. It's just wild, wild area. Nobody's growing anything in there. But then when you get to the other side, you find more agriculture. So it's definitely clear. It's definitely clear that these areas had water bringing nutrients or still do maybe there's still some flooding going on during certain seasons that makes it that holds the rainwater and keeps it there longer than these higher levels there's probably still some higher levels i mean i guess if we zoomed in there more we could probably see for ourselves let's zoom in there and see if we see anything i wish i could turn off everything open topo usually does it Open top was pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good. Let's try that. See, you can see here the open topo there. It actually literally puts a line around those. No, I think there's a lot. Hi, hi there, R. Hammond. It's not very populated at all. I mean, anywhere you go, all you see is trees. You barely see cities. It's okay, here we go. So that says right there, 3,000. And I guess it's down here in the blue. 3,000 what? 3,000. See, it's not very clear. The colors are a little more correct, I think. The topo must refer to data that's really old. Anyways, I just kind of wanted to keep the the topography. You can't see the agricultural anymore because I changed the map. Mail Hill. See, and that's another cool thing. Some of these maps give you data you never saw before. Mail Hill. Let's see what Mail Hill's all about. Where's that at? Where's Mail Hill at? Whoops. See, one problem with satellites.pro is it's kind of hard to control. I think it must be one of these. Let's let's zoom out a little bit and find out. Okay, so let's put that right there. Wait, let's try this. Hey, where's Mail Hill? Mail Hill's over here. Oh, I I was wrong. Okay, let's find it. It's right there. So this is Mail Hill right here. I assume. Yeah, there it is. That's Mail Hill. I already looked at that actually. Let's see what we can find on top of Mail Hill. There's always some type of sign of man on top of the mountains, on top of the, the parts that I should say there's always some ancient stuff on tops of these old crusty areas. Very clear, huh? Very close. Not much though on Mail Hill. Kind of a downer. I think that's Mail Hill right there. Let me just zoom out and see. 
So if I put here Mail Hill right here in the bottom right, what I think is Mail Hill, if I put it there, I can't see nothing. Let me put it in the middle, right there with the corner of the country right there. And then we can look here and zoom in again. Oh, it was here. Mail Hill's there. So what's here? What's here? Almost where the country meets the river is right above it. And over here we can see, uh, kind of tough to see. I'm pretty sure that's it. If that's not it. It's definitely about here where the thing meets the country. But uh, let me put it here in the corner. Let's try that. Pretty sure that's it. Anyways, here it doesn't say Mill Hill. Here it says Sodio. Sodio Hills World Heritage Site. So what's there is the question. Uh-oh, we got lots of stuff there. See, this is a lot better. See, sometimes Satellite Dots Pro. Oh, I guess we're seeing 3D. Let's back out and do a 3D shot of the whole area. There's a couple things that are nice about Google is right here. The 3D shots. Also, another thing to remember, I, I like to turn off all this stuff because it's kind of in the way. I like to just keep it clean. No borders. Clean, I said. There we go. Still circling? World Heritage Site. I don't know what's there. One thing you can do, though, is you can make it a little bit dark like that. I think that's a little nicer, right? So you've got this big mountain here. That was probably the main mountain, right? Well, this is worth actually duplicating so I can come back here later. So that's it. But I'm pretty much done. South of the peak, there's a village called Moshanung. Our Hamid, it sounds like you didn't just get onto this topic. What else do you know about this whole area, Our Hammond? I know you've been in some of my videos before. Let's find a new, let's just, what else should we talk about today, R. Hammond? These striations go 500 kilometers across, and how far down do they go? Look at, you can still see them down here. Down here, you can still see them down here. They're a little bit less straight. This is satellites.pro. So when you zoom into these, you don't see rivers. You don't see any canals at all. So it's really not, when I say canal, the only reason why I can say that is because this, this warp, this 300 down to 200, back up to 300, you and I both, brah, you and I both. Well, okay, look, honestly, uh, two years ago, what happened? Jimmy happened. He opened up our eyes. About, uh, he opened up my eyes about the Eye of Africa. And then two years ago, I'm like, well, if that were... And that's where I started reading Plato, learning about Plato, learning about um, a lot of ancient history stuff that I needed to know to compare. But I think if you've been my... If you've been my... I don't know how long you've been subscribed to me... But if you go back, you'll see it's about two years ago when Jimmy made the big so-called declaration. And I don't even remember why I was subscribed to him at the time. However, the big however is my mom, and I'm not going to get too deep into it, but my mom is uh, probably still convinced she was, a, she during the period of Atlanta, she worked, she always referred to it as an island. And so I grew up thinking Atlantis was an island. And I still think that islands are important, but because everybody used Plato's terms, I think it was Jimmy that was like, okay, well, I don't remember who. Actually, I don't think it was Jimmy that mentioned the island concept, that the ancient Taman Reset existed. I've never heard Jimmy talk about the Taman Reset. Now, that I had to find out through other ways, but what he just did was pointed me in the... 
I had already looked at the Eye of Africa 10 years earlier. Oh, look at this. I love these watering holes. I had already looked at the Eye of Africa 10 years earlier, but I hadn't really... I never really looked at the Plato story for Atlantis, and that's when I had to start learning about that. Now it seems like I've covered most of the bases. Actually, Charles Koss was going over some very interesting stuff about Doggerland. And yeah, Doggerland is part of an area that's now submerged. So pre-submerged lands, he's trying to apply our possibly Atlantis. I think that's true, but you have to have a... The Plato's Atlantis, I think that the concentric circles, I don't see any other place. And now one of the things Charles Koss was just saying was that the, 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 I, I don't, you know, I have to maybe have to take another look, take another look at what Plato wrote, but there was fighting going on with not just uh, e Athens, but also Egypt as well. So if this is true, then I missed something, and I need to find out where's where the truth lies. I'm gonna have to end this video really soon. Honestly, I uh, didn't want to spend all night. R. Hammond, I'm looking at your comments. I'm gonna reread them again. I'm just gonna take a couple more shots of these striations, these lines, and and say that the topography is saying like 50 to 100 feet difference, and if you have that, then you definitely do have um, direction. I don't know why they would do it. I mean, obviously, it's, I think, for agriculture in a way. They're growing food there. They did that to make water enter lands to grow food. I mean, they're not rivers letting, runner, letting water run down the hill to the river delta, are they? Oh, that's one more thing. I've got to confirm a lot more. See, I've got a lot more to learn here so that's why I'm asking, R. Hammond, is this river running north to south or south to north? Because I, I was thought I had it, and then I double-checked. Seems like it's running from north to south, but then I looked, and I'm like, well, wait a minute. Then why does it delta out like that? I don't get it. Okay, let me read your comments. I've got your comments right here. i got to log off real soon. This is almost over. R. Hammond, make hill towards the bottom of the delta. Male hill towards the bottom of the delta. See, maybe I don't understand what the bottom of the delta is. Okay, next. Uh, a mile south of the peak, there's a village called Mosha Nung. I'll check that out later, not now. I've got, yeah, two years like me. The irrigation region looks the size of Arizona. Okay. Yeah, well, I measured from the farthest west to the river. I didn't include the, the eastern part. It was like 550, 60, almost 600 kilometers. Same interest on pyramids where, yeah, okay, so I, to finish my story, my mom talked about Atlantis years ago. She didn't really get into the pyramids or the Sphinx. I kind of ignored those my whole life and didn't pay attention. But as far as like ancient history goes, I had to listen to my mom for years. She, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, we, she also did, like, UFOs and uh, Bigfoot and other stuff. So I had my eyes open to a lot of different alternative theories from the mainstream. Now, personally, as far as UFOs go, I believe that they are flown by ancient humans or ancient human civilizations, not or survivors of ancient human civilizations or people who just knew how to figure it out or maybe... It's big government, Illuminati, but I don't really think that UFOs are visitors from other planets. From what I understand, it would just take, it would take too much time to get here, unless there's portals. There's lots of things we can talk about, but I'm not really into UFOlogy as much as I am into ancient history and understanding man. Because if UFOs are here today, they're not affecting our lives except for making us wonder about them. Now, if UFOs are ancient methods of transportation, I don't see that in what I've been studying. So if anybody developed UFOs on Earth's flying saucers, the ability to get around, it's kind of separate from what I'm looking at here. I think it's kind of separate from Atlantis in a way. Do I think Atlantis had flying machines? I'm not sure anymore. Maybe the ancient 
the ancient alien theory is the way to think, right? Flow south into the delta. Okay. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not that way years ago. Maybe it's changed. Just the shape of it's confusing. Now, a lot of the stuff I'm looking at looks like water until you go in and there's no water there. So it's it seems like... Okay, let me uh, move this over here so I can continue looking. Let me read more comments first because I'm almost done here. I really got to go in the next few minutes. Some, same interest on the pyramids where the entire region was green and had lakes around it. Um, probably all connected. I believe they were connected. If you've seen my videos about ancient maps, I think they were connected. All right. There you go. So, um, yeah, I got to get out of here. I'm going to reread what you wrote there and take a look. At, I'm going to remeasure some stuff. I might do one last video just to compile info through live streams. The highest striations we see seem to be about here. That looks like them right there, right? Looks like they're a little messed up, but they were there. They turned into lakes. A lot of maybe flooding and dirt. And I thought I found a really clear escarpment over someplace else, but the top topography just didn't show it recently I, I lost it or something where are we oh back out more I don't even have the river so as you can see the river's not visible here it's kind of weird isn't it to not see the river those are the lakes I guess they call them not really sure why but you don't see any of the striations until you get far away from the river Sheesh, I can't see anything now. Where are they? Here? Why isn't it working? See, maybe I did a bad thing by using the open street map. What am I missing? Oh, it's up there. That's what I'm missing. I was in the wrong spot. Okay. All right, th there you go. I was in the wrong spot. Sorry. I must have been looking at something else. Okay. Because of that big old faux pas, faux pas, flunder, blunder, I, whatever it is I just made, I'm going to finish this up even sooner. I forgot my point. My point was, is how far north do I see striations? Oops, see, that's the problem with Satellite Pro. I saw them here. I'm kind of wondering if they're up here. I'm going to zoom in slowly and kind of scan that area for striations that look similar. I don't see them up here. The first ones I see are about here, right there. That's the farthest north I see. And the farthest south, down here I see. Look at that, I see them down there, I see them down there. Interesting stuff, guys. Let's keep looking. Let's keep looking. I don't see anything down here. I see some right there. I see the striations there. So let's back out and look at the whole picture now. So from basically from down here at the lower end of Botswana to up here, right there. Let's measure it. Get out of here. Oh, I'm in 2D. I see what I did. Okay. Put it in 2D. What is it? That? that is 2D. Okay, so one more time. I'm sorry about that. I got to go back and look again. So we went up here. I think we saw. Now I got lost again. I think it was right here. Let's just do it quick because, uh, yeah, right there. So from here down to the center of Botswana, let's measure that. Oh, there's 2D. Right about there. 1.3 uh, thousand kilometers, or let's go with the uh, miles. 800 miles. Pretty big. Pretty big. Okay, guys. That's it. I'm out of here. Look at that. One hour exactly. Perfect timing for me to make it for an hour. Y'all have a nice day.
One quick thank you, R. Hammond. Thank you, Georgia Redmud. Anybody else who's watching that didn't comment, thanks for your thumbs up. I see about six, five likes. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Oh, should I play the music? I could. I could play the music, and then I'll show you, if you're curious about that music, where it's from. It's from that website of New Earth. I've got the music right here. New Earth. It comes from this video. Oops. Bye-bye. Thank you.